so this is the uh, somewhere uh, global hotspot. It's uh, it's a it's basically a tracker and SOS device that you'd use out on trail. I'm out on a particularly horrible day up on a ridge. It's often in bad weather that you actually need something like this. Um, so uh, what does this do? It, when you're out on trails and there's a situation where you don't have any mobile phone signal, if you now get into trouble, there's now not a lot that you can do. So um, the idea of these kind of hotspot devices is, is that it can piggyback one of the satellite telephone networks um, and allow you to make communication even in an emergency. The other cool thing about them is they tend to have an emergency SOS button as well on them, which I'll come back to in a bit, which means that in an absolute emergency you don't even need to make a call, you just press the button and people will know that you have an emergency and they'll also be able to use it as a tracker to figure out exactly where you are. So. Um, just to go through some of the features on this little device, uh, you can see uh, the little light flashing lets me know that it's on. Um, from a power source point of view, it's USB rechargeable from that little area there. And uh, the website says that it would last about 10 days. From the usage that I've given it, I'd actually say it probably would last closer to about 7. It's a little bit more power hungry than I think. Uh, they let on but it's still pretty impressive. The unit itself is pretty small, you can see it fits in the palm of my hand. Because it's round there's no edges to catch anything and cause the trouble or come off if it's mounted on the outside of your pack which is good. Um, the best way to use it is with a logo facing upwards um, and in an emergency you pull off this blue plastic cap here and there's an emergency press button that you hold uh, for an SOS and so when you do that you can tell that the light colour changes that you've got an SOS out. Um, what it does now is it, it will hook up through Bluetooth and actually attach to your smartphone, which is kind of cool. And so there's actually a number of features that makes this useful. The first one is that with the help of your smartphone and the app that they've got, which is really easy to navigate, you can um, send text messages to people even if you've got no standard mobile phone signal. Um, and you can also use this as a tracker, so it will put out a ping every 10 seconds uh, for your location, which friends can follow on a website if they're willing to log into um, the somewhere website um, and it'll act as a tracker as well so um, there are a couple of different network options for these kind of trackers a lot of people are used to the spot tracker which I don't particularly like that uses I think it's called the global star network this one uses in my opinion the best network for the northeast of America which is the iridium network they have a very low Earth orbit satellite system that's very well placed over the US, which means I have never, I've always had a signal when I'm using Iridium. Whereas when I've been in New York State, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire on remote trails, I've found that the Spot X can let you down um, and go for a long time with no signal. Um, once it's hooked up to your phone, um, most companies want you to pay them about 30 bucks a month. The nice thing with this system is it's actually, I think the basic plan is only eight bucks a month when you turn it on and need to use it. And uh, one of the nice features I've seen out of this is that if it has a mobile phone signal and you're sending a message, it'll use your mobile phone signal. So it will only use the satellite signal that you're paying for when you absolutely have to use it. Um, it has a military spec uh, ruggedness to it. Um, and you can probably see in these conditions, it's also waterproof uh, to the point where it floats in water, which I think is a nice touch. For mounting it on the back, there's a bungee here that you can undo for attaching to packs, or you could attach a carabiner to there. Um, and that's pretty much it from the features point of view. Um, there is a fantastic uh, app that's been built for this. It's got some of the best usability I've seen on an app. Um, it uh, allows you to get localized weather data. So for example, you'd know that this horrible rainy weather was coming in. Um, it uh, has downloadable maps as well, which I think is useful. Although as far as I can tell, it's not possible to upload tracks or maps onto it which is a little bit of a shame. Um, um, and that's about it from a features point of view that I've come across. If I was going to have a couple of little gripes, um, I would prefer that this SOS cap was bright red or glow in the dark or bright yellow so that I could find it more easily in an emergency. A little gripe I would prefer if the power button was a bit more easy and a different color to find as well. That's just me. I also feel like the flashing white light is very small and in an incredibly bright sunny day, it'd be difficult to tell whether it's actually flashing or not. So those would be my very little gripes. The only other thing I'd point out is it is obviously reliant that your mobile phone has power. 
So if it doesn't, the only feature that's going to work on this phone is, this, is the SOS button on the end. Everything else, all the other features of messaging uh, and tracking will turn off if your phone's not running. There are criticisms from people online about the fact that it uses up a lot of your phone power because it's piggybacking those elements to run. But my response to that is I think you have to take these things holistically. And if it wasn't piggybacking power out of your phone, it would be using more power itself. So you would still need to charge it anyway. So if you're out on a trail for more than one or two days like I tend to be, you're going to have a charger pack and possibly even a solar cell with you anyway. So you know, you're going to need to recharge head torches, your phone, uh, your GPS watches, that kind of stuff. So. For me personally, I'm not too fussed that it's a little bit more power hungry on my phone because I'd have a charger pack anyway over multi-day. Um, that's pretty much it. Doesn't weigh a lot. I think I think I may have mentioned it weighs about four ounces. Doesn't take up a lot of space, uh, which I think is good. Um, that's about it. I think I, there's not, not a lot more I can cover. So yeah, that's the that's the somewhere and it's the global hotspot system. Um, and I'll put a link in the video to a more in-depth review on it. Uh, so thanks very much, Deacon.